Hello viewers, it's your favorite girl Chomzi reporting live from Media Wolf TV. And I'm live at the court on the case of Mr. Femi Williams, who allegedly beat his wife, late Mrs. Chidera Williams, to death. Today is the first hearing on the matter, and I'm reporting live from the court. Cameraman, please kindly focus on the suspect. Mr. Femi, you know today is the first hearing of your case, and whatever you say in there will be the routine in judging this case. I have filed a counter charge declaring you not guilty of all the charge against you. So if you go in there and plead guilty, you will ruin all my efforts. You will go to jail or even get a death sentence. <sighs> Mr. Femi, this is not the time for you to be emotional. You don't get it. You don't understand. Okay? I killed my wife. I killed her. I can't go and lie on her after killing her. That's horrible. That's not. That's horrible. That's worse than whatever the devil did to be kicked out of heaven. I'm <laughs> telling you. No, no, it's wrong. It's wrong. I, so you know, bro, it's I killed her with my hands, bro. And I can't go on there under oath and lie and say that I didn't do it. It's a noble thing to do. I need to. It's, it's a noble the... thing to do. And yes. yet you beat her to death. <sighs> Yeah. Uh, Barrister. No, I, I know I deserve it. Barrister, I please don't listen to him. Just do what you need to do to help me. Okay? I mean, why can I have a word with you in private? Hey, what are you doing? Get out of here before I bust that camera. that you have a very good heart. I don't want to continue living like this. I'm in so much pain. I'm begging you. Please. I just want to see my husband. I promise you he's not a bad man. Look, look at him. Look at him looking all sober and broken. He didn't mean any of the things he did to me. He didn't mean to hit me. He didn't have any intentions of even killing me. And he has been seen a shrink, trying to get help with his temper. I love him and... And I miss him. I just... I'm begging you, I just, I just want to see him. I just want to see him, please. Please. I'm begging you. Madam. Please. Crying is not, is not going to solve the problem. I'm a professional in what I do. I've been paid not to let you go out of this room. I'm strictly working on your brother's directives. I'm so sorry, please. have anything to worry about. I am the counsel defending Mr. Femi Williams and it's never against the law for me to advise my client before going to court. What is happening to him is emotional blackmail and he's trying to use it to pin himself in court. We can't let him go in like that because if he does, he's going to plead guilty to the charge and if he does that, the matter is over. But we can't let him do that. Of course we can't. So what do we do? I will appeal to the judge that my client is mentally unstable due to the sudden death of his wife. 
whom he loves so much. And then and that he should be sent to the psychiatric hospital where he will be mentally checked. I believe that the judge will grant that. And if he does, we'll go there and work on him some more. I think that's a brilliant idea. Oh, it is. Please, let's go with it. Okay. I can imagine the pain in Femi's heart today. He couldn't take his eyes off you, Yami. He cried all through in court. If Femi goes to life in prison, I'll get a death sentence. Our family life will be blessed. Mommy, even, even Papi will not be happy with us, wherever he is, he will not be happy with us. Hey, Joe, Mommy. Mommy. Hey, Joe. Yeah, me. Femi is the first proof of your humanhood. Your first fruits. Even God does not joke with first fruits. me to be doing. I understand how you feel. Yes, I do. Please, you will be fine. I will have to get a stronger lawyer to get you out of here. I need another lawyer to take up this case. Please, you have to promise me that you will get married to me once you are out of this detention. You need to stop clinging on to hope that we'll get married. We're not going to get married. How, how will you look to people? They'll think I killed my wife to get married to her best friend. That's not going to happen, okay? It's not going to happen. People's opinion, what people will say. I mean, it doesn't matter. And I need you to stop trying to get me out of here. I've made up my mind. I'm going to plead guilty to the charges. We're done. Guard! We're done. My lord, I'm interested in suit number four on the cost list. My lord. Court clerk? My lord. Call up the case. Suit number AN slash four slash 2022. Femi Williams versus the states. My lord, both parties are present in court. Any appearances? With most profound humility, my lord, Larry Emu, Esquire, appearing for the plaintiff. Emu is spelled E-M-U as an E-M-U, my lord. Barrister Omar Jacob standing in for Mr. Femi Williams, the defendant. My lord, according to the test result that was conducted on the disease when she was rushed to the hospital, she suffered from migraine. The result is here with me and I wish to tender it. Court clerk. My lord. Collect it.
my Lord. This is taken and marked as Exhibit A. Our Scott pleases. My Lord, according to my client, the accused, the disease usually complained of having migraine, which she never treated properly, but prefers to take common pill to calm it for the moment. According to my client, the accused, the diseased husband, the diseased who had health issues and was ignoring it, went ahead to donate blood to her mother-in-law, Mrs. Bola Williams. It was that same day that she had the attack and was rushed to the hospital by her loving husband. My lord, that will be all for now. Thank you. Prosecuting counsel. My lord. Yes, my lord. My lord, I have an eyewitness to how Mr. Femi Williams Murdered his wife. Objection, my lord. Objection sustained. Prosecuting counsel, please rephrase your statement. Thank you, my lord. My lord, I have an eyewitness in the person of Mrs. Bola Williams to testify on the death of Mrs. Chidera Williams, my lord. Bring her forward for a question. Thank you, my lord. The state calls upon Mrs. Bola Williams to take the witness box for cross examination, my lord. Christian, Muslim, or a pagan? I am a Christian. Say after me. I swear by the Almighty God. I swear by the Almighty God. That whatever I'm going to say before this honorable court. That whatever I'm going to say before this honorable court. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Mrs. Bola Williams, could you please tell this honorable court your relationship with the accused? He is my son. Order, order. <laughs> could you please tell this honorable court? The incidents preceding the death of Mrs. Chidera Williams. you do this for me. I, I don't know what else to do, but it's, it's really urgent. The thing is, please, please, you have to help me. I am begging you. I don't want that man to go to jail for something he did not do. I am still alive. I'm not dead. Please, I beg you. 
Just do what you can do for me. Let me go. Let me. I, I, I need to get to the court. Listen, you need to come and see. I, I just saw it on the news that his mother is at the court to testify against her own son. And that is because of the love she has for me. You and I know that it is not right for a mother to testify against her own son. It's even worse that I am still alive while they are thinking that I am dead. This man has done nothing. Please. I have cried. I have pleaded. I am tired and broken. I, I don't even have the strength to cry anymore. But please, just, just help me. Help me. Please. I have told you. I cannot help you. Only what I can do for you is to help you call your brother so you can speak to him. Okay? Dave, why are you this heartless? Dave, the... Share with me. Uh, okay, I'll take this one. one. <laughs> so, um, where's your daughter-in-law? Ah, Chidera. She went to the pharmacy to get my BP drugs. Chidera is a wonderful daughter-in-law. That girl is a godsend to you and to the family. She is. She's an amazing woman, you know. I got lucky. <laughs> God bless me with that one. <laughs> Hello, Afemi. Yes, ma'am. You just said that Chidera is a, an amazing woman. And I know you love her. I do. Huh? I do, I do. With all of me. So, where is the problem coming from? Problem? Why do you always beat her? You just said it with your own mother that she's an amazing woman. That you love her. Why? She's an amazing woman. Okay, I'm not saying she's not an amazing She's an amazing woman, obviously. So I say that first. But she can be annoying. She can be annoying. I mean, I, and I have hot temper. So I'm taking ownership of the situation. I'm not running away, taking responsibility. But she can be very annoying. And I, can't, I try to hold myself back. I, I do hold myself back, actually, because when I'm, you know, Olu, I don't, I hope. I registered you in a rehab center. Yes. So that they can co help me correct this your hot temper. But the report I got is that you just visited it twice. Why? I've been busy. You know, work. Work has been like, I've been swamped with, with work, you know. But I'll start going. I'll start going for you. Eh? Please, I don't want your heart to... I'll start oh, you going. Yes, ma'am. Tolu Afemi? Yes, ma'am. How many times did I call you? Call me two times, ma'am. Tolu Afemi, if you want me to live long for you and your siblings. Ah, no, don't talk like that. Uh, you stop beating Chidela. I love that girl so much. She's my life. Chidela is a good woman. Each time you beat her, my BP rises. I don't want your BP to rise, so I won't beat her. I, pr I, give, you my, I give you my word. I will not beat her ever again. Okay, and I'll start attending those classes. Okay, just to make your beat back, your beefy can rise again. Go for beat back, man. Oh, Lord, me. Uh, sweetest mother in the world. Mm. 
Eh? Mm -hmm. I love you so much. You know I love you too. Ah. And I love Jidera. Yes. Hmm? I promise I won't, I won't touch her again. In that way. Well, after touch her in a way that will give you grandchildren. Uh, better. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sorry, bro. I took it too far. Enjoy yourself. Uh, no, no, no. I don't really, you know, I get it because of you. But you know I love you so much. I love you so much too. But if it was pizza, I would not care and go. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go and freshen up, okay? I'll, I'll join you in a bit. It's okay. All right. You're welcome. Yeah. Top of the town. You've made us a topic for me. God. Hmm. This is very rare that a woman would testify against her own son. My sister showed her so much love. And she loves her in return. She knows that her son is a monster. Her pain is that this thing happened the very day my sister donated blood to her in the hospital when her son was nowhere to be found. So she's ready to go to any length. So now that everything is like this, are you sure she's going to come and testify? Why not? She gave us her word. She knows her son is a beast. We have to be very sure because this is the only strong evidence we have against Femi. In that case, let's go to our house. All right. For what? To be sure she is in line with the agreement we made for her to testify against Femi in court. Did you hear yourself talk? Ah! Bright. Where is your conscience? Eh? So I thought you came here to know how my mother is feeling. Even when you know she fainted at the court the other day. Try to, 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 to protest against her own son. You can imagine. Then the courts. You know. Oh, my show. Well, we're not here for you. Just call your mother for me. Go and call her. She did that because of the love she had for Chidera. Of which Chidera also loved her by even donating her own blood to save her life. You, you that is talking, if you're a good sister-in-law, you should be joining your mother to testify against that monster you call your brother. You won't see her. Nice speech, Bright. Best speech of the year. Do you listen to yourself talk? We should join our mother to testify against our only brother in the court to be killed so that my family name will be closed. Oh, that's fine. Do you know what? I think the best way to go about this, you have to lend me a gun. Just hire me a gun. Let me go and shoot him so that the case will be closed. So everybody will be fine if that will make you happy. Marisa, you see how wicked human beings can be. You can't see her, Bright. Mr. Bright, you cannot see her. And please stop blackmailing my mother. Hey, your sister did this, your sister did that. Is she the only one being nice here? I don't know. My mother has also been nice to her in so many ways. Yes, she approved of my brother getting married to her. We have five fine girls now from my place. 
They are Yoruba girls, fine, fine ones. That way, they begging my brother to get married to them. But my mother chose your sister over them. So is that not a favor also? I don't know. Is that not a huge favor? Barista, okay. I'll just call her phone. Yes. Use other means to win your case and stop dragging my mother to testify against her own son. Please, you heard her. Please. You people should leave my mother alone. Let her be for once. Do you want to kill her? <laughs> 